Hi everyone, we are here in Louros, uh, Lisbon, Portugal, at the general meeting of 5G as a service, and we have with us Simon Pryor from Accelera, who is going to answer uh, some of our questions regarding the work that Accelera is doing within the 5G as a service project. So Simon, I have two questions for you. So the first one would be, I know that within the 5G as a service project, you're working with the concept of private networks. So can you please explain to us and to our audience who, who exactly, what exactly are private networks? Yeah, so everyone is, is familiar and everyone has a smartphone connect to 4G and increasingly 5G networks. But these are public networks, as they're called for um, mainly for consumers. When it comes to, to businesses, um, they all, many businesses also have connectivity needs, certainly energy utilities and many other uh, factories and, and critical communications. There are many business applications that, that need connectivity. And so the same technologies used to create public networks can also be used to, be, to create a different type of network called a private network or non-public network, as it's called sometimes by 3GPP. So, so that is in essence what you have. So similar technologies using same, similar equipment, but um, specifically dedicated for, for specific applications, typically business applications. So you mentioned some of the uh, sectors that might require such uh, solutions would be the energy sector. So uh, do you think that the ideal solution for the energy sector would be a private network, a public network, a hybrid solution, what would it be in your opinion? Uh, yes, energy utilities have a massive need to be connected. They have transmission stations all over the countries and especially the, the way that power generation is moving from big centralized power stations to renewable energy, solar panels, wind farms everywhere. All these things need to be managed and connectivity is a critical part of being able to access and create intelligent smart networks for future energy distribution networks. And so they need every type of communication they can get. Some areas are very, very remote um, areas. Other ones are, are densely populated urban areas. And so there is a need for uh, all sorts of communications. Um, energy utilities have very critical communications connecting the, the power substations um, to ensure that they keep running in case of failure of equipment. Um, they also have lots of field engineers that are going out on site for remote sites and, and increasingly lots of countries have offshore wind farms as well. So you've got people going on boats or helicopters going and wherever they are, they need to be connected. So, so there will be a mix of, of private type networks guaranteeing the services. So in much higher reliability you can get from a public network for their critical communication aspects, but there will also be a need of getting national or multinational connectivity, getting connected somehow. And so public networks will still have a role in that connectivity, but in combination with private networks for the core critical aspects where they, they need the guaranteed uh, quality of service, the guaranteed availability at all times, 24-7, 99.999% availability as they, as they term it. Okay, thank you so much, Simon, for helping us understand this topic better sure. and its role in 5G as a service. Thank you.